Hey guys, my name's Fern, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an e-kit review for you guys, an electronic drum set that was supplied to me. So I filmed this video over the course of the last couple weeks just to really make sure I could test this kit out and give it a complete, thorough, honest review. So let's talk about situations in which you might have an electronic kit. They're great for apartments, uh, if you want to play drums and you can't make a ton of noise. And in my case, they're actually really good for practicing. Let's go ahead and go over to the unboxing so you guys can kind of watch me take everything apart. This drum kit was actually very well packed. Everything came safe and undamaged. Uh, typically with kits like this, you get a rock band style bass pedal that doesn't actually have a pad or doesn't allow you to use a pedal. But in this case, we have a metal base with the standard mesh and rubber construction for the kick pad, which holds up surprisingly well. The included bass drum pedal is okay, uh, which they usually are in these kits. They're not great, but they're not the worst. Tubes are made out of metal. All the joints are plastic, which I don't really like. There's actually quite a bit of plastic on this kit. It is a little flimsy when you're trying to put the frame together, but when you've got it all together, it actually holds really solidly. I kind of set this kit up to mimic what my actual kitten looks like, to, so where the snare is centered and everything around me is mirrored. The pads are mesh heads with a rubber protective around the rim, which also acts as a secondary trigger for rim shots. The labels for all the cabling are on the actual cables themselves, which I thought was a nice touch. All right, so now that we have the full kit set up, I wanted to give you guys some audio examples of what comes on the kit. So, what did you think of how the kit sounds? Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the way it sounds, but I also think that no e-kits are ever gonna sound that great. Uh, I did think that there's too much nuance and ways to play drums that are never gonna be able to be completely replicated. And so, I immediately have a problem with all e-kits at that. The pads play pretty good. The construction, once everything is tightened down, you gotta make sure to get all those nuts, there's a lot of them. It's pretty sturdy a month out. I've been beating on it and playing on it pretty regularly and it feels pretty good. And I think that overall, the best thing about e-kits is one, that they're silent or near silent. I think the loudest thing is actually the kick pad and that's just because I have club feet in them. I think the module is the biggest lacking point of this entire thing. Lack of outputs, no stereo out, it's just a single mono out. Uh, it does have headphone out, but the, like I said, the sound just isn't great and the sensitivity of the pads isn't stellar either. I actually want to conduct a test with one of my other modules and see if the pads are really responsive, but it's the module that's not picking up on them. I suspect that's what's happening because triggers and trigger pads are pretty simple design. They're just a simple electronic that you hit and then depending on the velocity that they receive, that is what the sound triggers. As a pad and cymbal set and everything that comes with it, I think it's great, but as an e-kit, that is supposed to sound like a drum kit. It is a begin. It might fool a beginner, but as an audio engineer and somebody who's been around drums my entire life, uh, I can definitely spot the difference and hear very low quality audio files being used in a very not user friendly, like module design. It's pretty confusing. The included guide for it 
kind of helps you out and will help you get some sounds dialed in. But if you forget to hit save, then so help you. You lose everything that you just worked on and we're trying to program. And that's my biggest gripe with this kit is the module itself. Once I kind of learned that that wasn't any good after finding only one kit that I constructed that sounded decent, uh, I just kind of shut it off and have just been using the kit as a practice pad set. And I think that that's its real strength here. It's pretty durable for me especially, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I hit kind of hard like you guys see in all my other videos. So for a kit to be able to withstand that and everything stay pretty much in place like is pretty surprising. I do like it because I've been able to just turn around from my editing station where I do all my video work and just being able to hammer out a drum idea that's popped into my head is worlds better and actually helped me prep for a music video shoot in which I learned how to play one part of this song in a more complex sounding way but actually easier way to play for me. And I wouldn't have found that out had I not had this e-kit sitting right behind me. So I think that's its biggest strength, is being able to work on techniques silently and then also learning to develop control because all the pads are really bouncy. So you need to learn how to control that initial rebound. Overall, I'd give this kit a six. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, let me know, would you play this kit? Be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah. Goodbye. <laughs>